Hello everyone. So let's get started with today's topic that is vice president. It's a simple question in fact. The resolution for removing the vice president of India can be moved in the. So it is giving, given as Lok Sabha alone, either house of parliament, joint sitting of parliament, Rajya Sabha alone. So if you are tense etc in your exam, the main problem, this is a tricky question in fact, it's not, it's a simple question but a tricky question again. So if you are tense etc, what you will be seeing is that resolution removing vice president. So again without going through the entire question you will just go by and you will say that okay I, both house of the parliament should be there but again it is given either house of the parliament you, so you may go for option B Bombay. So there are some, some, some would be actually uh, upon seeing this options you will just re, uh, revise once again that is you will just look into the question again. So there you will be finding the trick that is the resolution for removing the vice president of India can be moved it is asking for can be moved in the so it is asking about moving where it can be moved or where it can be introduced. So that is the question here. So we will have a quick revision about a vice president. So here the constitution regarding constitution provision constitution that is article 63 mentions that there shall be a vice president of India and regarding the elections to this post it has uh, as you all know the elections to president the post of president as well as vice president is not a direct election in fact it is an indirect election. And the system which is used is a proportional representation by means of single transferable vote. And here it is a secret ballot is also used. And the electoral college is most important part. Electoral college consists of members that is in case of vice president it consists of both members that is both nominated as well as elected members of both houses of parliament alone. Here state legislative members will not be playing any role. Just compare just have a comparison study with that of the electoral college of president. So that is very important. In President's case, you all know that is elected members of both houses of the parliament along with that elected members of state legislative assemblies are the electoral college. So have an idea about it, just have a comparison and study accordingly. Along with that the qualifications, the constitution has mentioned that he or she, the, obviously he or she should be a citizen of India. That is a prime most uh, qualification and after that the next one is that he or she should have completed 35 years of age and should be qualified to become a member of Rajya Sabha. So that is the most important part. So these three are the qualifications apart from this there are certain limitations also. The limitation is that he or she should not hold any office of profit. So that is first and foremost one. Second one he or she should not be a member of either house of the parliament or state legislature and if they are actually after getting elected they will be deemed to have vacated those posts. So that is again another criteria. Now regarding the term of office it is 5 years, 5 years is the term of office for vice president and until a new vice president enters the office the, or the previous vice president will continue in the office and he or she is also eligible for re-election. So this is another criteria, so this is about the term of office. So regarding the vacancy to this post we can say that the constitution mentions that the elections to the post of a vice president that is a, for electing a new vice president has to be conducted before the completion of the previous tenure that is previous that is old vice president's tenure completes. So before that particular tenure completes itself the elections has to be conducted and elections is conducted by election commission of India. And here there are other posts also due, that is due to unforeseen conditions there may be a vacancy that is happening in these posts that is especially due to this resignation. In case of resignation understand that resignation the vice president resigns by giving a resignation letter to the president. So in that case also vacancy will be happening along with that removed a uh, vice president can also be removed from office along with that due to unforeseen conditions such as death of a vice president etc a vacancy will happen in that particular to that particular post to that particular office. So in the in this particular case what happens is that the elections according to the constitution has to be conducted as soon as possible and regarding this removal etc the removal there is no ground has been mentioned by the constitution as far as removal is concerned. While in, uh, in the case of president etc violation of constitution has been mentioned explicitly but here in this particular case there is no ground that has been mentioned by the constitution. Now a resolution for that effect has to be introduced uh, before uh, that is a prior notice has to be given 14 days before this introduction and a resolution for this particular case has to be passed by the council of state that is Rajya Sabha and this particular resolution has to be passed by a majority of all then members of the council of states that is all members of Rajya Sabha. So it is asking it is saying that it can be introduced only in Rajya Sabha and this has to be uh, 14 day notice period has to be given and after that this resolution has to be passed 
with a majority of all then members of council of state that is rajya sabha and after that it has to be agreed to by the house of house of people that is lok sabha so this is the manner in which vice president can be removed now coming back to the question the resolution for removing the vice president of india can be moved in the lok sabha alone we have seen that it is not introduced in lok sabha so it is not there either house of parliament is also wrong second third one joint sitting of the parliament that is joint sitting in the case joint sitting is also not possible and rajya sabha alone is the right answer so the answer should be d delhi rajya sabha alone so that's it thank you